Bringing it back home now, the Productivity Commissioner has issued a pretty grave warning about the housing crisis. In particular, saying Sydney is at risk of becoming a city with no grandchildren if we don't address the housing crisis. The comments came after it was revealed Sydney lost twice as many people between the ages of 30 and 40 as it gained. There is no doubt that we need to act. The Premier Chris Minns has come up with a plan to increase and fast-track development near public transport, but it doesn't really touch the sides in terms of boosting our housing supply. Remember that goal? 1.2 million new homes over the next five years right across the country? And New South Wales, Sydney in particular, have the lion's share. But local mayors are calling for more consultation and negotiation. That takes time and perhaps it's time that we don't have. We need an actual pathway to building more homes more quickly. Who's going to build them and where? That is the intractable argument at the moment. Joining me now is the Mossman Mayor, Carolyn Corrigan. She joins me here in the studio. Great to see you. Um, Thank you, Laura. What is your issue with the Minns government and their plans at the moment? I think that essentially uh, that report, the EIE, was released just before Christmas. Um, we didn't really have any input into it. I think we all knew something was coming. It was rumbling along and it totally needs to because there is a housing crisis. There's no issue about that. But I think essentially we need to be at that table because we are always told we're at the... You know, we're at the ground level, we're the, we're the, the level of government closest to our communities. We can talk to our communities and bring in density where we think it's a good idea and where they come along with us, where we have that social capital to get that change. I think this is widespread change that I don't think we have a really clear picture as to what it's going to really mean. And all we keep saying whenever I get in front of a minister, I've met Minister Jacks, Rose Jackson, I've met Minister Scully, haven't had a chance yet to meet the Premier. We just do want to be at that table because mm. we will be the level of government implementing a lot of that change. Sure. But everyone agrees that we need to do something about the housing crisis and I've had mayor after mayor on this program essentially agreeing with that but saying, yep. but we don't want that kind of development here. Do you accept that that's, that's pretty hard? I think that, look, there's obviously been a lot of work done around those um, transport orientated mm -hmm. developments. I think everyone understands we've got a phenomenally fabulous new metro coming online. We've got really good, um, you know, rail systems. Mm -hmm. That is a that to me is an obvious place to start thinking about putting but, some density. So, but you're talking about us, density out of your exactly. Area. I know that you would say, well, that's okay. You can say <laughs> that because that's not Mossman, and I get that. Yeah. But I think that's the right place to start, and I do think a lot of those councils, particularly in my regional area of councils, which is Northern Sydney, you know, Hornsby's embraced the density, North Sydney's embraced the density. Yeah. Willoughby's embraced the density. It actually is happening. I think that it's a little bit unfair to say that we're all just na na na. I don't so believe that's why, the case. Are there no areas in the Mossman City Council that you could build, you know, more homes, more apartments? Oh, definitely. I think yeah. we would be saying to our community, Spit Junction. I think I don't know whether you know yes, the area, but Spit Junction. Everyone knows. Everyone knows that. Um, Perhaps not our interstate viewers. So no, much, no, no. But, but um, yeah. it's the you know the Spit Road military road is kind of famous for being just a quagmire of of cars. But that would be an area definitely because that's near our major the, the the bus route that goes into the city. We would want to try and um, keep that density fairly contained, mm. and then try and keep the character of the rest of our area. Mossman's a little bit unusual. It's very small, and about half of it is national parks. Sydney Harbour Federation Trust, Taronga Zoo, HMAS Penguin. We've, we've mm. got a very unusual um, small municipality. And very expensive. Very expensive, I get that. Yeah. And, I, and, and that's probably because half of it is not able to be developed. And the other thing that I think people often don't know is about 65% of Mossman is already high rise or, you know, low rise walk up density. We've mm. got quite a significant amount of density already. What's your, because this is a partnership, right? And, and councils are notoriously slow on approving DAs. Uh, they're notoriously, you know, um, covered in red tape, if I can put it that way. What are you offering the state government here as to, you know, easing up some of that red tape? Is it a quid pro quo? 
I think that the state, there is now a state portal for planning. So all of and the it's planning. it's a disaster. Apparently it's a disaster. It's I didn't say that. But disaster. <laughs> Every single builder who uses yep, it says it's, says it's a disaster. Which is a problem. So yeah. for us, we got our housing target yep. from what used to be the Greater Sydney Commission, then became the Greater Cities Commission, then yep. was basically um, disbanded. Mm -hmm. Our housing target of 300, we got that late 2020. We're on track to reach that target. How it many is, have you actually built? There's 125 waiting to be built, so that's 125 approvals. Yeah. Now you've got to say, I mean, but if that's 2020, yeah. we're now tw that's four years yeah. for approvals. And exactly. That's, that's too well, far. no, the approvals are there. It's just right. that there's a reason why are people not building. And I think, is it that the tradies aren't there? Is yeah. it that the cost has now gone, become too expensive? So there's lots yeah. and lots of issues uh, that make up this Because once pie. you get out of council red tape, you then have state government red tape. It's becoming think, a bit of a joke. I think we, we definitely don't want the red tape, but I think what would be interesting to find out is to get all those councils in Sydney to say, how many approvals have you got sitting, waiting to be built? I think we would be really shocked mm -hmm. at how much housing was just sitting waiting to, to actually be actioned. So that's an issue that I think we could all look at together. Yeah. We could sit down, but we do keep saying, please put us at the table. Because I think rather than people saying councils are just a na-na, we actually do really know what we can do in our areas. Mm. And we do know where we could um, put the density. Uh, but if it's just gonna be a one size fits all blanket approach, yeah that's going to cause, I think, the Minns government quite a bit of pain. Well, they'll be watching today. We'll also let us know how that meeting well, I'd love, I'd love, uh, I'd love a meeting with, Mr, with Premier Minns if he would love to meet us. We have asked and um, the offer, I'd love to do it if he well, was available. Well, there you available. go, an open invitation, a quite Wonderful. public one too. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much, Helen. I Thank appreciate you. it.